Hi, my name is Steve Bell, and this is episode 15 of For the Journey This Week. We're coming up to Pentecost Sunday, and I happen to have a new song called Pentecost. I wrote this exactly a year ago with my friend Malcolm Geit. He was in town here. Uh, for uh, we were working on some projects together. We also had to do a Pentecost Sunday service together, and so he suggested we write something, and he had a poem, and we uh, worked together and came up with a song. Um, so rather than me introduce it, I'm going to have him introduce it. Um, we grabbed him before he left, and uh, he, can, he can talk about it better than I can. So this is Malcolm Geit. So it's a, it's a real pleasure to be uh, in uh, Steve Bell's legendary studio here in Winnipeg. I've been here for a little while just to reflect with you a little bit about our partnership in songwriting. And in fact, is, we've carried on. I'm not just reflecting on what we did in the past. We just, the other day, just a couple of days ago, we, uh, we wrote a new song together. In fact, we were not here in the studio, but at a lovely... A lovely little cabin belonging to, to Dave Zaglinski, uh, Steve's manager and friend, and um, it was up in a place called Victoria Beach. I loved it up there. It was just uh, just great. But we had a couple of days just to uh, to work on material together. And um, <clears throat> I have a poem about Pentecost, and I was asking Steve if he had any Pentecost songs, and he's saying, "Well, no, not really." And uh, so we thought, well, maybe this poem would be suggestive of a song. And it was wonderful to watch Steve at work. Um, I read the poem to him several times. He was getting a very fine rhythm going on the guitar. I could see the kind of counterpoint between the rhythm that he was bringing with the music and the natural rhythm that is there in the way I write the poem, because I write in iambic pentameter. I have kind of like five beats to a line. Today we feel the wind beneath our wings. So. It was lovely watching how that worked. But then Steve did the classic thing he's done to me before. He's just sung four lines, the first four lines of the poem, and he goes, oh, no, wait, for the structure of the verse, I need an extra four lines here. And this, I didn't even have my hat to go down to to write. It was like, but actually, I was so stimulated by the kind of new sense of rhythm and the repetition of the word today that, that Steve had already got going with where he was with just the first feeling in towards the song, that I sat and pretty much wrote the next four lines straight away. And so then we, what had been originally a 14 liner, you know, obviously then became an 18 liner. And then later on when we were changing it at the end, we needed, we needed another couple of lines and Steve contributed one of those. So by the time it came out as a song, it was uh, it was really uh, a real collaboration and a, a new thing. Um, so I'm going to share the poem with you f now, and then you can you can hear the song. But just to say a little word about the poem. Uh, obviously, Pentecost is the birthday of the church. It's one of these great moments. I wanted to celebrate it in poetry. I was thinking about all the the different biblical Im images of the spirit, the, and I thought, well, of course, the the wind spirit. I mean, in Greek, pneuma means both wind and air and breath and spirit, ruach in Hebrew. So the wind is obviously there. And then clearly the flame, the tongues of flame at Pentecost are there. And then um, the flowing water, there are springs that make glad the city of God, the promise of the fountain rising within you, the waters of baptism at which the spirit is present. And I thought that's really interesting. You have fire, air and water, three of the four ancient elements that made up the whole cosmos in the, in the ancient world view, and, and which are very symbolic, I think, of parts of our souls as well. So I thought, where's the missing element? Why is there no earth in this? Where's there no earth? And then I thought, ah, of course. Earth, of course, is the name of human beings. Adam means red clay, person of the clay. We're the earth. And we're incomplete as an element by ourselves without the other three. So God, the Holy Spirit, comes as air, comes as fire, comes as water, so that the, the dust of which we're made can be moistened and the, the air can be breathed in to make us into a living being and the divine spark can be within us so that we become fully who we are. And that's really what's happening in the poem. But as the song's taken it in another uh, uh, you know, uh, direction and really brought it out, I think. So here's, here's the poem. Today we feel the wind beneath our wings. 
Today, the hidden fountain flows and plays. Today, the church draws breath at last and sings as every flame becomes a tongue of praise. This is the feast of fire, air and water, poured out and breathed and kindled into earth. The earth herself awakens to her maker and is translated out of death to birth. The right words come today in their right order, and every word spells freedom and release. The, today, the gospel crosses every border. All tongues are loosened by the Prince of Peace. Today, the lost are found in his translation, whose mother tongue is love in every nation. So you'll hear in a moment what what we did, I say what Steve did, in a sense we wrote this together, what we both did with this to turn it into song. I should say just one thing, I mentioned the four elements. The other thing, of course, that is deeply happening at the Feast of Pentecost in Acts is translation. It's this wonderful thing where God allows his good news to be heard in every language. It's not reserved to some special privileged language. All the people gathered there who hear Peter preach, we do hear in our own mother tongue of the marvelous deeds of God. So I wanted to bring an element of translation into the poem, uh, which I do in the final couplet. But one of the nice things that happens with the song is that translation element is kind of more through the whole thing as a song. So I hope you enjoy the song too. Today we feel the wind beneath our wings Today the hidden fountain flows and plays Today the church draws breath at last and sings As every flame becomes a song of praise Today the promised comforter comes flying Today the fountain cleanses every stain Today the breath of life comes to the dying Today our maker makes us new again This is the feast of fire, air and water Poured out and breathed and kindled into earth The earth herself awakens to her maker Translated, translated out of death and into Right words come today in their right order And every word spells freedom and release Today the gospel crosses every border All tongues are loosened by the Prince of Peace This is the feast of fire, air and water Poured out and breathed and kindled into earth The earth herself awakens to her Translated, translated out of death and into birth mm. Today the lost are found in his translation Uplifted by his fire feather dove Whose mother tongue is love in every nation Whose mother tongue in every land is love Whose mother tongue is love in every nation Whose mother tongue in every land is love 